So the membership committee is very happy to present Charlotte Halverson uh, today, presenting the history of ISASH. And um, Charlotte has been a long, long time member and has a lot of a um, lot of background. And we are very grateful to her today for sharing that uh, history with us. So, Charlotte, welcome and thank you. Thank you, Ellen. And it is absolutely delightful to have a few minutes to talk to our membership, new and old, but particularly new, uh, new membership and uh, people coming into the organization and learning about the organization is truly the life of the organization. And that's what makes it important. That's what makes it vital. And that's what makes it interesting. And it's what makes people like me keep coming back. Um, just as a, a short note, I've been a member of ISESH since 1997. Uh, I joined uh, because my uh, new boss, my new director at the National Education Center for Agricultural Safety said, you've got to go to this meeting. And uh, so I went and he wasn't able to go as Dr. Sam Steele, who I'm indebted to for a lot of things in this career. Uh, he really put me on this path. And one of the most important things he did is introduce me to, um, at that time, National Institute for Farm Safety, now known as ISASH. Uh, when I went to my first meeting, though, I wasn't so sure I was that grateful because I didn't know so. And I walked into this room and all of these gentlemen were talking about safety issues and uh, it was just a very uncomfortable situation for someone that's used to being someplace where you at least know a few people. So it was, uh, it was kind of that deer in the headlights thing for me for a little while. But I will tell you that since 1997, I've only missed two meetings because it's been a priority for me, not just professionally, uh, but in my uh, development professionally, but also personally, because as you've heard uh, in introductions before, this becomes a, a great place to make new friends, to meet people that have a like interest, and to learn about people that are doing things that until then you really didn't know that much about. So it brings me back. It's, uh, it fills my cup, if you will, um, with energy and the desire to help be a change maker in an industry that is uh, always changing uh, on so many different levels. So uh, as a nurse and as a woman, it was kind of a new thing for the organization. I think when I joined, there were two or three women involved. And uh, if you look at the different memberships now and the different committees and our board of directors, you can see that uh, some of those things have changed a little bit. Um, ISASH, then known as the National Institute of Farm Safety, actually for several years was an organization that didn't have a name. Uh, it was born in Chicago in 1945, I believe. It was kind of the brainchild of about three forward-thinking gentlemen with a very distinct and very important and passionate interest in safety issues in farming and ranching. And in about 1962, I believe, it became the National Institute for Farm Safety. Uh, also called NIFS, and uh, there are a lot of there are folks around that uh, were part of that, and that probably are much better historians than I am. That's for sure. Uh, Mr. Jim Williams is uh, in the mix and always makes it to these meetings, and uh, he has been a mentor on many levels. So if you get a chance to meet Jim throughout this virtual meeting or next year in North Carolina, introduce yourself and let him know. Uh, that that uh, you've heard about him, and uh, he will go into all kinds of history stories for you. Uh, Mr. Glenn Hetzel is another uh, gentleman that's been around and, and has done so much for the development of the organization. I do want to say, before I say anything else, is uh, Chip Petrie has been a wealth of information, uh, a mentor and a resource for so many people in the organization. And as he takes on his additional role of um, archivist, if that's the proper term. Uh, I'm going to put a shout out right now uh, to the board and to Chip that I would like to see a, um, a, a, a documented piece put on the website on our um, 
ISASH website with a written history of all of these things that people can see and uh, learn about um, and find out how we grew as an organization over the last several decades. So um, Chip and Micah and the board, this one's on you. Uh, when we started out, it was a, really a family-oriented meeting, and a lot of families came and brought their uh, their interest in the area, and uh, the um, people were there for work, would go to their meetings, but we also developed a lot of family programs on the side uh, for kids and that. Now, that piece of it has kind of gone by the wayside for a lot of reasons, but it, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of staff, it takes a lot of investment and uh, liability issues. So that is not a structured part of the organization anymore, but that does not mean that members don't come and bring their families and make a little vacation time out of it normally. Uh, obviously with um, the COVID issues, we cannot do that this year. Um, but I also think there's a bit of a silver lining and that maybe this can become um, a virtual piece of all of our meetings going forth. We did a name change a few years ago, as I mentioned, from National Institute for Farm Safety to the International Society for Agricultural Safety and Health. And it was very interesting because um, when I was on the board of directors, we sat in a meeting one day and noticed that we're still calling it NIFS, but a growing part of our membership was international. And, and that's wonderful, and we're glad to see that that's growing, but we really weren't identifying that. So uh, went to work and uh, did change the name. And I think it's a much better fit for what we have right now because we have so many of our members represent the Canadian provinces, um, Ireland, Australia, England, Mexico, uh, some of the South American countries. This is really um, what makes it a great organization. So this is really um, an important place to be if you come from a background that has any involvement in agricultural safety and health. We are a welcoming organization, particularly to students and wanting to hear about what they're doing in school, with their research and their diverse interests. Uh, if you come to a meeting, uh, if you've not been there before, and if you have the chance to come in the next Next year, uh, in the years down the road, you'll meet safety specialists, extension staff, engineers, uh, insurance folks, researchers, educators, membership group representatives, uh, people working with folks with disabilities, uh, equipment manufacturers, uh, medical health care providers, emergency management and public health folks, uh, people that work with youth organizations, federal and state organizations like CDC and NIOSH and the uh, NIOSH Ag Centers around the country, uh, people that represent producer groups, and also a shout out to the military. And Jim Carabo was on our breakfast meeting this morning, and a shout out to Jim. He's been a proponent of the Run for the Troops, which is a great organization. So Jim, um, from us to you, thank you. Uh, one of the things that uh, um, we do as an organization is our annual meetings kind of move around the country. Uh, and that's great because it gives us an opportunity to see some of the diverse types of agriculture uh, in, uh, in the United States and in Canada and other countries. So that's just a really big, big plus as I'm concerned. And it's been a historical piece that's been very important to the uh, organization. I urge you to become involved uh, in the interest areas, whether that be machinery and tractor safety, the farm and family leisure, rural occupational health, which is a passion of mine with my nursing background. Uh, it's more difficult this year to do it, but it's an interesting way to also learn how to do things differently. Uh, those are the issue committees. There are standing committees that you are welcome to look into becoming a member. And I urge you to attend our business meeting at 1230 Central Time today and learn a little bit more about how the business of the organization runs. It's been a real gift to me to be a part of this organization. And as I said, in my practice and my growth and the understanding of agricultural health and safety, uh, it has given me a real comfort level in asking anyone for information, for resources, for ideas, and for critiquing 
and just throwing something out there and people get back to you, they support you, and we really want you to become a part of this vital and growing organization. So from me to you, thank you and a big ice ash hug to all of you. Bye-bye now.